Welcome to the Short Tour Guide. I'm Scott, and I'm delighted to take you on a whirlwind tour of Pennsylvania. I'll be providing you with the top 10 things to do in this fabulous state. I'm going to spare you all the unnecessary details. That's why I'm the Short Tour Guide. So let's get into it. First up, we have Independence National Historical Park, nestled in the heart of Philadelphia. It serves as a living monument to America's journey to independence. This historic park, often referred to as the Cradle of American Democracy, encompasses landmark sites like Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell, each a cornerstone in the nation's founding narrative. Independence Hall is where the Declaration of Independence and Constitution were drafted and signed, marking pivotal moments in American history. The Liberty Bell, with its iconic imperfection, stands as a symbol of freedom and has witnessed centuries of significant historical events. Let's get on to the Gettysburg National Military Park. This park in Pennsylvania is a hallowed site of American history, preserving the landscape of the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg, a turning point in the Civil War. The park encompasses over 6,000 acres with approximately 1,400 monuments, markers, and memorials, each narrating a piece of the complex and tragic tale of the battle. Visitors can explore significant sites such as Little Round Top, Pickett's Charge, and the Gettysburg National Cemetery, where President Abraham Lincoln delivered his famous Gettysburg Address. Up next is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. This museum is one of the largest and most renowned art museums in the United States and stands majestically at the end of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. This iconic institution, housed in a striking Greek revival building, boasts a vast and diverse collection that spans over 2,000 years of human creativity. Among its most celebrated collections are the Marcel Duchamp pieces, the Rodin Museum, which is the largest collection of Rodin's works outside France, and an impressive assortment of Impressionist and Renaissance paintings. Now let's shift focus to Hershey Park. This park, nestled in the charming town of Hershey, Pennsylvania, is more than just an amusement park. It's a delightful destination for families and chocolate lovers alike. Hershey Park boasts over 70 rides and attractions, including thrilling roller coasters, family-friendly rides, and entertaining shows. Apart from the rides and chocolate-themed attractions, Hershey Park offers an adjoining zoo, Zoo America, featuring wildlife from North America and the boardwalk, a water park with various slides and pools for summer fun. Now on to the Pennsylvania Dutch country. This area, primarily situated in Lancaster County, offers a unique cultural experience deeply rooted in German heritage. Known for its Amish and Mennonite communities, this region stands out for its adherence to traditional simple lifestyles, often devoid of modern conveniences. The area is a patchwork of lush farmlands, quaint covered bridges, and historic farmhouses, transporting visitors to a simpler time. Culinary delights are a cornerstone of the Pennsylvania Dutch country experience. The region is renowned for its distinctive, hearty cuisine, with staples like Pennsylvania Dutch sausage, apple dumplings, and the famous whoopie pies. We are now halfway through the countdown, so if you are enjoying this short tour of things to do in Pennsylvania, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and tap the bell to be notified when I drop a new video. Now let's complete the countdown of the last five top Pennsylvania attractions. Number five is Falling Water in the Laurel Highlands. Falling Water in southwestern Pennsylvania stands as an architectural masterpiece and a symbol of harmony between man and nature. Designed by the renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935, this iconic house was built partly over a waterfall for the Kaufman family, prominent Pittsburgh department store owners. Tours of Falling Water provide insights into Wright's architectural vision, the lifestyle of the Kaufman family, and the construction process of this unique home. Let's shift focus to Pittsburgh's cultural district. This vibrant area, situated in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh, is a testament to the city's commitment to the arts and culture, spanning 14 square blocks. It is home to a dynamic mix of theaters, galleries, and arts venues, making it a hub of cultural activity. The district boasts some of the city's most renowned institutions, including the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra at Heinz Hall, the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater, and the Pittsburgh Public Theater. The cultural district is not only a place for performances and exhibitions, but also a lively area for dining and nightlife. With an array of restaurants and bars that cater to a diverse crowd, the cultural district's array of theaters, such as the Benedum Center and the Harris Theater, offer a broad spectrum of performances, from Broadway shows and classical music to contemporary dance and independent films. Next up, we have the Eastern State Penitentiary. Opened in 1829, it was the first prison of its kind, introducing a new system of solitary confinement based on the principle of penitence and reform rather than punishment. 
The prison housed many infamous criminals during its operational years, including the notorious gangster Al Capone. Though it was a model for prison design in the 19th century, the solitary confinement system eventually fell out of favor due to ethical concerns, and the prison was closed in 1971. Today, the Eastern State Penitentiary operates as a museum, offering a glimpse into the life inside its walls and the evolution of the American penal system. Moving on, we have the Pocono Mountains. These mountains, located in northeastern Pennsylvania, are a popular year-round destination known for their natural scenic beauty, outdoor recreational activities, and quaint towns. This region, encompassing over 2,400 square miles, offers a diverse range of landscapes, including wooded hills, clear lakes, and rivers. In the warmer months, the area becomes a haven for hiking, fishing, camping, and water sports, with numerous trails, parks, and water bodies providing ample opportunities for adventure and relaxation. The Poconos are also home to several state parks, such as the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, offering stunning vistas and wildlife observation. In the winter, the mountains transform into a snowy playground, with ski resorts like Camelback and Blue Mountain attracting skiers and snowboarders. And now for the one we have all been waiting for, number one. Finally, we have Valley Forge National Historical Park. It is a site of great significance in American history, commemorating the perseverance and sacrifice of the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War. Today, the park spans over 3,500 acres, preserving the historical landscape where the Continental Army braved the winter and laying the groundwork for eventual victory and independence. Visitors to the park can explore reconstructed huts, the original headquarters used by General Washington, and various monuments and memorials that pay tribute to the soldiers' resilience. Well, that wraps up the top 10 attractions to visit in the state of Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next travel adventure.